Hey everybody, this is Daniel from WeLaunch and today I want to introduce you to our new plugin, the Multi-Inventory plugin. As the name already says, the Multi-Inventory plugin for WooCommerce allows you to create multiple inventories in your WooCommerce store and it's showing these inventories in two different types. We have a front-end inventory and a back-end inventory. In this small demo, I want to show you both and we are starting with a front-end inventory. Let's say you have a WooCommerce shop and you are selling your products in different inventories or maybe also different countries or different locations. Then it's fairly easy that you have different stocks also there. The good thing about our plugin is that the customer can choose the inventory he wants to buy the product from or if you as an administrator do not want it, can disable that. If we have to make the suggestion that the customer can change the inventory, then we in our demo have a small pop-up here at the top, which says the current selected store is Münster. Let's say if you are new in our shop, then the pop-up will appear automatically, but now we want to change it. We click on the link here on top and we want to change our store. And you will see a pop-up appears that is currently selecting the nearest inventory. As we can see here, the top nearest inventory is in Münster, because we are located in Germany. But below you can see there are also different other stores, like in Amsterdam, Los Angeles or Melbourne. If we select Amsterdam now, for example, because we want to get our products always from this store, then you will see the selected store is Amsterdam. This value is saved now for a user and will be used as a preferred inventory for all of his purchases. Let's say, for example, we have different views how a customer can change the inventory when we now show the label display. We click on that product and we can see here the name, the price, the description, also the total front end stock, but also a small hint here now. There are six items available in the selected inventory Amsterdam and the customer has the possibility to change that inventory. Let's say if we click on change inventory, you would see that he has the possibility to change it to Münster, Rome, New York or Berlin or stay at Amsterdam for example. And you can also see the stock values here. We have other demos. Let's say for example if we want to see the select field display. Then you will see here just a select field but also with a pre-selected Amsterdam stock. If we go back. Then we also have one demo for variable products, because these are working too. If we click on the variable product and we choose a color, let's say black, then you would see the total stock, but also the different sub-stocks in the other inventories. If we click on add to cart now, for example, you would see there is already a product here. It's the inventory also showing, and the customer selected variable product black and the inventory Amsterdam. If we now go into the backend, for example, and we can see here an order has been made, then we can click on the order as an administrator and we will see the inventory. The good thing here is if you have turned off the front end stock, then you can change the inventory here, for example, also into back end in the warehouses. Let's say if we want to change the inventory to Münster, we just choose Münster and we could update the order. The other thing um, which is possible is that when you turn off, for example, the front end stock, if we click here and disable that, then we have a built in order flow. So the order flow will get the current nearest stock based on the user's position or on the name or on the one with the most stock or the lowest stock. Let's say we want to always have all orders that are coming in from the customer based on the nearest location on the customer address. Then we click this select field here and we have to enter a Google API key which is using the distance matrix to calculate the distance from the user to the store. When we have entered the API key and then a new order will come in, then the nearest selected store will always be the inventory which is the nearest. Furthermore, here are some options for the pop-up. Um, you can adjust everything here. You can also adjust the colors, etc. 
but the most other important thing is the inventories itself let's say if you want to see the inventories here then you go to products inventories and you will have all the different inventories that have been created and you can also for example if we go to the burden stock edit that one and you could upload an image you can enter it at an address into that inventory a mail and also the latitude and longitude data and the very important thing is that you can select what type of inventory it will be will it be a front-end inventory so selected by a customer in the front end or will it be a back-end inventory or will it be both or only one of them you can decide that how it wants to be Furthermore, if a Berlin store is here, you can also see the products assigned to that store. Let's say inventories Berlin. In this inventory in Berlin, there are only these four products available. If we go a bit further, we have a built-in inventory manager and also an import and export functionality. I will show you the inventory manager, which is looking like this. So you will have all the product data, SKU, the managed stock and the total stock. And you can change all stock for all different inventories directly in this tool. Let's say, for example, you are changing the Berlin, which is a front end stock, which you can see here, to 35. Then it automatically updates the uh, stock data and it's also automatically updating the total front end stock here, as you can see, and also the total stock. This is fairly easy to use. Um, but furthermore, we have also another possibility that you can use that is importing or exporting inventories. So you can click N, uh, using Excel 2007 or you can click on uh, disable that and use the newest Excel version. And then you can simply import products with inventories by an Excel file. Very easy to use and also very easy for the customer to select the best inventory to get the products very fast. We, or I hope you liked the introduction to our plugin. Uh, if you have any questions, then leave a comment below. Otherwise, you, we will be happy if you purchase our plugin. And yeah, are very happy, and we hope you're very happy with that. Thank you very much for listening.